Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be with you. You know, every uh, 20 seconds, there's a leg lost somewhere in the world due to diabetes. And every 20 seconds, that's a tragedy. But also every 20 seconds, that's, that's an opportunity. Uh, it's an opportunity to make a difference. And we here at Salsa uh, are dedicated to eliminating what we call preventable amputations uh, over the next generation. And there's, this is possible. Uh, but what it mandates is that we get together uh, as a family to make a difference. So diabetic uh, lower extremity amputations, leg amputations, uh, happen unfortunately all too frequently. But they happen like this. Folks with diabetes tend to develop neuropathy. They lose the gift of pain, and they wear a hole in their foot. Now that hole can sometimes become infected. In fact, up to 50% of the time it'll become infected. And once that happens, about 15 or 17% of those folks are gonna get some form of an amputation. The thing that dictates sometimes the complexity and the level of amputation, though, uh, is not just the wound, is not just the infection, but it's also what's called PAD, or peripheral artery disease. This is a problem that affects millions of folks in the United States every year, even many more millions uh, around the world. In fact, uh, up to half of people ultimately uh, with diabetes will have some level of peripheral artery disease. Several million at any given time have what is called uh, chronic uh, limb-threatening ischemia, or CLPI. The key is this is a big opportunity uh, to try to affect change. What we know is that increasing activity, uh, improving your, uh, your blood pressure, uh, getting on a statin, uh, these sort of risk modifications uh, can actually reduce the risk of PAD, but also other kinds of therapies may do that uh, as well. Uh, and that might lessen the need of some of my colleagues in vascular surgery to be doing uh, endovascular and open surgeries to try to open up those clogged arteries. So the key is, uh, hopefully as surgeons, the best surgery is the one we never had to do. And with newer technologies coming out, not only pharmaceutical, uh, but also mechanical, uh, maybe we can make a difference. And hopefully we can put uh, all of this stuff into play and ultimately keep a few more legs on a few more bodies and eliminate preventable amputations over the next generation. Because that's what we all deserve, whether we have diabetes or not, no matter what our health, uh, no matter what our age. Come and join us.